I think over the last four years, there's been an amazing increase at the national level of Alzheimer's funding. It's gone from less than $500 million at the national level to uh, almost $1.4 billion if uh, the in increase that's expected this year will go through. And that's really an amazing change and long overdue. Alzheimer's disease costs society just in the United States roughly somewhere between 200 and $250 billion a year. It's a sort of estimated total economic impact. That's equivalent to what we have for cancer. And yet we fund cancer at roughly $6 billion a year. So I think that we're finally what I call getting right-sized to some degree with respect to Alzheimer's funding. So I think we're in a really exciting time. We have agents moving into the clinic now that we think are targeting the underlying pathologies. And we're also starting to do the trials in the right way. We're treating people with some of these agents before they show signs of, of the, the clinical symptoms of the disease. And we've made real advances as well in the field in identifying, being able to identify people with the underlying pathology before they show symptoms. So though that all collectively, I think, bodes well for the future. But the problem with prevention trials is they're going to take a long time to read out, five or 10 years or more. That's how long it takes for symptoms to begin to emerge when, from the time you have the initiating pathology. So it, it's going to be a challenge, and it's, it's not going to occur overnight. Alzheimer's has never had sort of these big gifts that you've seen for cancer from a wealthy philanthropist in the $100 million or $500 million range. And we, we see these all the time in other diseases, but I, because of increased awareness, for example, today, Bill Gates has pledged $50 million to begin this effort. And I'd love to see, I think those of us who have been doing research for a long time would love to see additional individuals who have that kind of capacity to join the battle against Alzheimer's disease. It's going to be a collective, just like a war on cancer, there's going to need to be a war on Alzheimer's disease. And it's not going to be won in a single battle overnight. It's going to take a long, long time. And so that's where we need to go.